Hey guys, welcome back to Outrageous Logan here. I have another speedrun for you guys on Gears of War 4 on Rustlong. Here is the soldier class. Make sure you get down these cards and make sure you have bounty 85,000 on Inconceivable. Here is another class, the engineer. I'll be showing you guys two perspectives of the speedrun. So first things first, the soldier one will plant grenades at the storeroom spawn and soldier two will, will plant grenades at the armory spawn. And the engineer and sniper and the soldier one will be hanging in the middle before the wave begins. So here is the engineer point of view. You want to make your way to the middle. I'm just going to show you guys where soldier one goes. He's planting grenades here. As you can see, plant as many as you can. That's a very important spawn. The scout will pick up all the power that's there. Soldier 2 has planted grenades in the armory view and he's heading back to where he needs to be. So this is the soldier point of view just in case you guys missed it. Soldier 1 goes to the storeroom but this is Soldier 2 and he's heading his way to the armory. So he wants to plant grenades, around 4 grenades around this table here. So make sure you plant one in each corner. So after the soldier is done planting his grenades, he's going to make his way back here and plant a couple more just to prevent enemies from spawning. He's going to make his way into the middle and give his money to the scout. So we're back to the engineer point of view. The engineer and the sniper are going to grab the fabricator and bring it back to the corridor here. This is where the sniper's position will be. He's going to be by the fabricator the entire match, hitting radar ping and sniper strike. After he drops the fabricator, the first priority is build that sentry. You need to push that to main spawn where soldier one planted his grenades. Take a barrier with you as well and you want to have that just before the sentry and you make sure you pump out sentries. It's very important. So now this is the soldier point of view. This is his spot. He must stay here the entire match. When there's five enemies left, that's when he can move and start planting his grenades again at the armory. But soldier two has a very important job. He must be there the entire match. So now I'm just going to show you guys more. You got to build sentries, push it out to main spawn. Where I am exactly, that's where the scout will be. The scout's going to hang in that little corridor and pick up the power as fast as he can. And the soldier one is going to be hanging in the middle with me as well. So just to clear up, the middle, you're going to have the engineer, the sniper, and soldier one hanging in the middle at all times. The scout will be here in this corridor. That's the position, and Soldier 2 will be back there exactly where I showed you. So make sure you remember those spots. That will prevent any enemies from spawning behind you, and you will have a quick speed run on the rust lock. This should around take around 42 seconds a wave, just around an hour. It'll be a full hour to complete this horde. And it's, it's very easy. I had no issues, no wipes. You can have this on iron mode, and uh, you can collect a lot of XP this way. So just more more information here, just make sure you're pumping out sentries. Have around three to four sentries in main spawn. Have a barricade there. Uh, make sure you're repairing every round. The engineer has a very important job to do. He's always moving around. And make sure your sniper has call shot, magic bullet, and sniper strikes and all that jazz. That will come in handy for the tougher waves and to kill the boss very quick. So sit back, enjoy the video. Get an idea exactly where I planted all my barriers and all my sentries and implement that on your next speed run. And I'll get back to you guys at the end of the video. That sums up today's video. This is a very fast speed run for all you guys who want to rank up fast and get your re-ups done. If you found the video helpful, hit that like button, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day guys.